Open Source Intelligence, or more frequently known as OSINT. It's pivotal in cybersecurity as it enables professionals to gather critical information from publicly available sources, and over the last few number of years, it's become a focal point for OSINT investigations, from identifying potential risks, monitoring malicious activities, or just conducting background checks. Leveraging OSINT tools on social media can be very powerful. Stay to the end of the video to see where I get all my social media OSINT tools from. However, the first tool we'll be going through is OSINTgram. Now, if the name didn't already give it away, you should be able to tell that this is an OSINT tool for Instagram where you can run it to collect, analyze and run reconnaissance. Now, basically what this tool provides is an interactive shell to perform analysis on Instagram accounts of any users just by its nickname. I've popped the link in the description below and you'll see once you visit it that it's very easy to use and get your head around. So I do recommend you check it out. There's different tools and commands you can use within it. And just as an example, we can look at captions, comments, followers, following, and their email addresses just by using the user's nickname, as I mentioned before. So there's a whole different list and there's a frequently asked questions for if you get stuck. Then they have a whole guide for installation and the version two beta, which should be launching. So do check that out. And there's different use cases, as I mentioned, for different types of reconnaissance. So if you're interested in social media for Instagram and doing some reconnaissance, then this is a tool I recommend you check out first. The next tool we then have is called Scraped In. And again, if the name doesn't give it away, we're talking about LinkedIn. And the tool itself assists in performing reconnaissance using the linkedin.com website or API, especially for red team or social engineering engagements. It performs a company specific search to extract a detailed list of employees who work for the target company. You enter the name of the target company and the tool will help determine the LinkedIn company ID, which will then be used to perform the search. You can see an example on the link when you click it from the description of how the tool runs. So it's very simplistic and it's easy to understand. You can also see an example of a, what the tool provides you in terms of information and the data set it will give you. So very easy to use and I recommend checking out if you're planning on doing some reconnaissance or just seeing how standard social media tools work. Next up, we then have Social Searcher. This tool allows you to carry out real-time social media monitoring and it's very easy to use. You can see on the home screen straight away, we have a mentions tab, a users tab and a trends tab. And just as an example, in a second, I'm going to put in some data to see what we get back. Now, the tool itself allows you to essentially monitor all public social mentions. So you can quickly measure and track what people are saying about a specific company, brand, product or service very easily. So we'll enter some information, we'll pop in iMentor and give that a search in real time just to see what results we're provided back with. And once we see the results, we can then filter that even further to get to exactly what we specifically need. So there we go, we have it populated. We can see we have 174 mentions and over 50 different users. We can then go into the filter bar to do different post types by photo or status or click different social media platforms. And once we're happy with that, we can scroll through to see exactly what we have and everywhere where iMentor is mentioned. And if we find anything interesting, we can click directly into that as it is hyperlinked and we can go straight to that post or mention. We also have a detailed statistics tab where we can filter by different social media sites and see different breakdowns, either by social network, by week, by hour, or different hashtags that use when mentioning iMentor. So really good different types of analytics. So I highly recommend you play around with it to see what data you have. You can also obviously filter by date if you want to look at a specific week, or you can set up email alerts or monitoring for that specific word that you're looking for, as you can see in the right hand top corner. And just going further into what breakdowns we have, once we've searched for iMentor, we have keywords, types, links, so all sorts of different type of information. So very useful for conducting reconnaissance and against the entire web for specific keywords that you're looking for. So the link will be in the description below if you want to check that out. As promised, also linked below is a link to where we find all our social media OSINT tools. 
And in future videos, I will be going through a lot more of these. So if you're interested, do subscribe. But there is all different types of social media platforms and what OSINT tools are out there. Twitter has obviously become a lot more difficult in terms of OSINT tools, but there are a few things out there. So if you're interested, do leave a like down below and I will create more videos on that. Credit to the creators of this as I did not create this myself. I've just found it whilst looking for different types of tools. If you're interested in cybersecurity or open source intelligence in general, do join my Discord community. We have over 600 people and we discuss all things cybersecurity and open source intelligence. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. It massively helps out the channel and tells me that you're enjoying this type of content.